Hey YouTube and welcome to episode 2 of VR Visionaries. Today we'll be covering a game that's been out for a few months, but honestly deserves a lot more recognition than it's getting. The developers are super passionate about it, some of the most passionate I've talked to. And on top of that, it's a great game with a great idea and a unique twist on the card game genre. Alright, anyways, let's get right to it and let's start talking about the Tavern of Magic. This game is so unique in many different ways and it really stood out to me just how hard it would be to achieve something like this on a desktop. This is a VR game through and through. It's a first person multiplayer action based card game. And you can really tell that the developers really cared about their product here. It has ways to go and it's still getting updates, but what's here is a solid foundation for an amazing game. Anyhow, let's get right to it and let's start talking gameplay. So currently, the gameplay loop revolves around two different modes. There's one that's a co-op based dungeon and another one that's a PvP multiplayer tavern where you can go and spectate other people fighting or you can fight in yourself. One of the coolest things about this game is how easy and intuitive the card based system got implemented to both of these modes. So in this game, each hand controls two pages of cards. You get to select what cards you carry in each hand and in what order. You only twist your wrist to select the card and then press the grip button to actually use them. You can then charge the cards up to have a more powerful spell, or you can just use them fast and do less damage to prevent yourself from getting spell blocked. And the spell types are so varied, everything from your typical fireball projectile, to a laser, to a defensive totem, or even summons. It's all in this game and it works really well. So it has the great base of a traditional card game, but what makes it unique in VR is that you're the person playing these cards and casting those spells. When you play a card, it comes out of your hand. You have to aim it, you have to avoid the opponent's spells coming at you, and you have to deal with the summons they bring up, or the blockades to prevent your spells from attacking them. And I do really want to mention the visuals of the spells. I mean playing a spell and then seeing it cast it in your hand and then letting it charge up to its ultimate form is just so satisfying and it feels great to use honestly. Now that you know more about the gameplay let's go back and let's talk about those game modes. The first one being Dungeon. It's a co-op based player versus environment style mode. In this dungeon, you'll be clearing rooms of enemy goblins until you get to the final room containing a boss fight. The boss fight was a really neat experience and it kind of reminded me of a raid style boss in VR. Then the other mode is the tavern. This is the PvP area as well as a social area. So you can go there and have one-on-one -on -one battles with other players while also being there to discuss strategies with other people or just spectating the matches going on. And I really want to talk on the PvP in this game because I do think it's super well designed. You can't just be spamming spells, every card has its cooldown, and when you're charging them you're at the risk of being spell blocked by another enemy spell. That means you have to also be ducking and weaving while also being accurate with your spell placements to not let it go to waste. And that becomes a lot harder when you're being swarmed by summons and spells from the other side. That is to say that there is a skill gap in this game and the better players do stand out. The one thing I could say against this game is that it just needs a bit more content to justify itself, but it is in early access and I've talked to these developers and I can safely say that the content is coming and it sounds great. Honestly speaking, I can't wait to experience it myself. I have to really say that this is one of those games that I'm really looking forward to future updates about. Anyways, this is VR Visionaries and in this series, as you know, we like to learn about the developers as much as we like to learn about their games. And in this case, it's a two-person studio over in Russia and the name of their studio is Genamics. It's very easy to tell just how enthusiastic and passionate they are about this project. In fact, I'll put a link to their Discord where you can go and give your feedback or ask them questions. They're very open to all sorts of communication on that Discord page and it's amazing to see that. Now for this episode, I had the great opportunity of being able to interview them in VR using this really cool camera tool that they have built into the game and one that I really hope more multiplayer VR games start to implement as well. Anyways, here's the interview. I hope you guys enjoy, and thank you to Genamics for taking the time to answer these questions. Appreciate it a lot. Alright, let me introduce you to Ivan, one of the developers behind this amazing game, The Tavern of Magic, and here we are to ask some questions, and the first one will be, what inspired you to create this game? So, our great inspirations were uh, Blizzard's Hearthstone and Magicka. Uh, the first one, uh, because of the magic and beautiful visuals and all overall sense of uh, competitive game and magic because it's a great adventure and uh, we were trying to combine something like strategy 
an adventure in one game. It's neat to hear that that inspired your game. So what were some of the biggest troubles you faced developing? The biggest trouble was uh, understanding what people actually want to see in VR. Uh, as they get headsets, they want some content. And uh, usually if you surf through the Steam, for example, uh, you see a lot of games of different genres with different mechanics that fit uh, different kind of players. And here in the tavern, we were trying to make something that you can play in home, like with your own VR headset and uh, progress through the game, uh, feeling that you're growing. So mainly, yeah, it was a hard decision to go for home VR instead of uh, VR arcades. So what made you want to develop in virtual reality? Well, first of all, VR is the future. We all know that. Uh, secondly, what could be better than playing with your own hands in your own world? Like, we love our game and we love people who play in it. And as gamers to gamers, we're developing really open community. Uh, you can join our Discord. You can assume something that we could add in uh, next updates. And uh, I hope it will go on this way. I really look forward to the future of this game. The Discord channel link will be posted below. And lastly, I just want to ask you for your message to the fans and those interested in the game. So my message is uh, thank you for playing our game. Thank you for enjoying your time here. And if you don't, just come to our Discord. Say what you don't like. Maybe we could fix it in a moment. Maybe it will, it will be fixed in the next updates. Just follow us on the social media and stay tuned for all what's coming. It's just the start of the long journey that we want to see you on with us. All right, perfect. All the social links will be posted below as well as the link to the game on Steam. I just want to thank Ivan for taking the time to answer these questions. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that and I really want to thank Genamics for taking the time to put out this interview. It means a lot to me and the footage you're seeing in the background is some more footage they hooked me up with with some of the earlier stages of development in the game before they even got to the risk based system for card selection. Anyways, that concludes VR Visionaries Episode 2 covering the Tavern of Magic and the developers over at Genamics that are making it. I hope you go and check out the game for yourself and give feedback in their Discord. Both links will be below in the description. Be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. Like and comment. Have a great day and peace.